Here is something you don't see every day, a teardown of an external hard drive. All you have to do is use your fingers, just slide it in there and open it up. I already did slide my fingers in, or fingernails. And uh, then just kind of work your way around it. This is a slim uh, 500 gigabyte Seagate. And, uh, uh, we're gonna see what's inside. Alright, there is a little bit of that sticky stuff, the sticky tape on it. So there's the cover. The cover is held in place by um, everybody loves this uh, clips. So the cover just basically just slide your fingers if you get long fingernails just slide them in and rip it off that way you don't damage anything now the drive itself probably same way All right. just kinda uh, band the bottom part and uh, the drive is fairly robust, it's made of metal, so plastic is going to give, metal is going to stay. Come on, all these latches everywhere. Alright, okay, gonna have to use a screwdriver. So slide that in. Now be careful not to damage the circuit board. So there it goes. Just kind of slides out. So we have the hard drive with the circuitry and the case. There aren't that many parts in this. Okay, now this one, there's all this anti static stuff. Use our fingernails to peel that off there and as you can see I'm not ripping anything apart uh, that will allow me to put it back together if I want to so the anti-static peels just peel it off in front and uh, unlike Western Digitals Seagate's do not make the hard drives themselves USB. So there's the anti-static and it's the circuit that allows USB 3 conversion to SATA. Okay, it just separates. I like the fact that uh, Seagate still uses regular hard drives and then just converter uh, that makes it a USB hard drive. It's a tiny converter, but what Western Digital did is they built in this into the hard drive. Not a good idea. Uh, because if this circuit fails, you just replace it. But the hard drive is okay. Um, if Western Digital circuit fails, USB part, um, not good. Not good. In fact, this thing you can plug any hard drive in it and it'll become a USB external hard drive so useful piece not I don't really need it but uh, uh, this is how you can scavenge some of these USB things instead of buying them so it's a few bucks on eBay so we have a hard drive it's a slim hard drive uh, slim compared to non slim You can see the difference in thickness. So they're the same thing, just a little slimmer. Maybe use a little less energy. Uh, so in total, this is what is inside of your external hard drive. Slim Seagate. 500 gigabyte. One terabyte, same thing. Two terabytes, same thing. So. Thanks for watching.